The people of Judah have broken their covenant with God. They are acting in evil and doing what is right in their own eyes. God sees their wickedness and sends his prophet Jeremiah to warn the people of Judah of their impending doom. One of the ways which God uses his prophet is by performing sign actions that demonstrate how God feels. We pick up our story as God is instructing Jeremiah to buy a linen belt. Jeremiah, my servant, go now to the marketplace and buy a linen belt. Put it around your loins, but beware of water coming near the linen belt. It must never be washed. Linen belts! Linen belts! Two okay. for the price of one! I'd like one linen belt, please. Two for the price of one! One belt. For this. Ooh, trade? Yes, trade. Well, oh, uh oh. Thank you. Two for the price of one. You no. get two. No, two. Uh, I was instructed by the Lord to only buy one. One is good. Thank you. How about good a road? Day. How about a road? Good day. One, one road. It's very nice. What about a pot? Good day. Jeremiah is walking onto this belt on for many, many days. The linen belt symbolizes the formerly intimate relationship between God and Judah. Jeremiah, do not let the waters touch your linen belt. Jeremiah is back at his house and meditating on a scroll. Go now to the Euphrates, Jeremiah. Bring your linen belt and bury it in the cleft of a rock. Place, reading a scroll. Jeremiah, return to the Euphrates and retrieve your belt from the rock. God told him to uncover this useless thing if it is not worth anything. Pause. Thus says the Lord. Just so I will ruin the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem, this evil people who refuse to hear my words, who stubbornly follow their own will 
and have gone after other gods to serve them and worship them, shall be like this linen belt, which is good for nothing. For as the linen belt clings to one's loins, so I have made the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah cling to me, says the Lord, in order that they might be for my Nea people a name, a praise, and a glory. But they would not listen. The bell was a symbol of the transformation that God's people made. First it was new and close to Jeremiah, who symbolizes God. Then it became unclean by Judah, who rebelled against God. Without God, they were dirty, tattered, and worth nothing, just like the belt after it was uncovered. <laughs>